Hello. So third vid for lesson one. Uh, it's quite nice actually. So in terms of a plan, we differentiate it and then we sub in the x value. So we should be getting quite a dab hand at doing this differentiating malarkey. So I'll put the power at the front and tail left the power. So that would be 4 times by 3x squared. So that would give us 12x squared. Then I've got minus 7 times 2x. So that would give us a minus 14x. The 3x becomes a 3 and the 1 disappears. There. Right, so now I'm going to do it for x is 2. So when x is 2, dy by dx will be 12 lots of 2 squared minus 14 lots of 2 plus 3. So dy by dx will be 23. So this is really important. This. That's called the gradient function. And that's an equation uh, that gives the gradient of a tangent of the tangent anywhere on the curve. Right, we knew this. Whereas this here is the gradient of the tangent at x equals 2. If I subbed 10 into that equation, it would give me the gradient of the tangent at 10. It's quite good to get your angle on that. Let's have a look at this one. Well, so this one's going backwards. It's told you that dy by dx is 4, and you need to find out what x value fits it. So if I differentiate this, so I've got 3x squared, I've got 3 times 2x, that's just 6x, and then minus 5, and I'm saying that these two are the same. So I'm saying that 3x squared plus 6x minus 5 is the same as 4, uh, is equals 4. So then I've got 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 is 0. If I put that into poly, poly it gives me uh, x is minus 3 or x is 1. Now this was a, um, it was a cubic graph. So if you, if you graph it, it might look something like that. So you've actually got you've got two points where the gradient might be four. Can you see that? So I've got x is minus three and x is one, and I want the coordinates of it. So I've got to sub back into the original equation. So sub your x into the original equation. So when x is minus three y will be, I'm going to write it out in full because people get really confused and put it into the wrong bit. So just kind of assume you'll know that it all goes on. So that's 14. And then if I use, oh god, I'm sticking. If I use 1, checking my times here. 1 cubed. 3 to 1 squared minus 5 x or 1 minus 1. That is minus 2. So my coordinates are minus 3, 14 and 1 minus 2. There. So I like that. I'm going backwards 1. I'd rather go forwards. So I'd rather differentiate it and find the gradient. Do the equations of tangents then, which is the next lesson. What we're going to do. So that's another review of these ones. So differentiate it, put your two in, and you get a whopping gradient of 639 over 4. You think you didn't think that one through when they were making the question. And then that one I go backwards one when the gradient is zero.
That special average gradient of zero, it's called a stationary point, and we do absolutely shed loads on it. There. So I'll put it equal to zero, solved it, so that, uh, what else we got in this one then? Is that it there? Oh yeah, if you look on the next page, look at all this consolidation we're going to do. It's absolutely shed loads because it's so important to do this right. Right, well then everybody, bye bye.